Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to GameStar TV. Thank you for a little bit of a longer break there. It is the Injusta, Injustice 2 circuit, and we're now into the Losers semi-final. And we're still kind of reeling a little bit at the shock of the new look grand final that we're going to be have. Wasmanator just booked himself a ticket to the grand final. And now we're going to see who is going to... Well, this is a match to have a battle for a ticket uh, into the grand final. So ending versus KD. Coming up for you is the losers' semi-final. And they, w the winner of this will face Gilbags for a shot at the grand final. So to take you through it, once again, is Matt. Take it away, Matt. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Finally, we've actually got four people in the King of the Hill pretty quickly. So hopefully now they'll start the matches and we'll be able to get going. But we are going to have KD, the man who has knocked out Castiel, Jam Castiel, the Sub-Zero player, versus ending the man who has also been running through killers. So both of these people running through killers throughout the thing. They can start the match whenever they want just by hitting square as well. Um, but yeah, so definitely going to be interesting here. Um, I see it ending in the chat as well, asking if he should play uh, Swamp Thing, uh, which might actually be interesting in the Sub-Zero matchup. Now, Sub-Zero as well, character very unexplored, but I feel like a lot more people after today are going to often be labbing against this character because um, he's, he seems quite strong, at least within the Australian scene. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so definitely going to be interesting. Interesting to see who ending picks as well. I hope he picks Swamp Thing because if we had a Swamp Thing versus uh, Sub-Zero, uh, that would be ridiculous. This would be the most ridiculous uh, losers semis we've ever had. And we see hovering Starfire at the moment. So Starfire... Uh, Starfire was released two weeks ago, I think. So I think she's legal. I believe Sub -Zero. she is legal because last week... Yeah, she's been out for a while now. Um... Um... Arlene but... Quinn. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. I'm a little bit distracted. But ending going to Harley Quinn, probably a good decision. I think has a has a good way of uh, getting around the clone just with the fireballs as well. She has such fast recovery as well as the um uh, as the uh, hyenas is a good way of getting around the clone. But you know, uh, that would be good for him as well. Uh, Sub Zero, obviously, Katie rocking that the whole time. Does have a couple of other people. Uh, but obviously is predominantly uh, much to our uh, great, great pleasure. Um, yeah, so um, here we go. So Sub-Zero versus Harley Quinn. Not sure how this matchup goes. In my head, I think that Harley Quinn probably does a decent job because she has so much air stuff. But you can see now the clone gets rid of the clone with the hyenas down to into the, uh, into the charge gunshot there. Or manages to actually slide into the clone. Full conversion this time. 344 damage. Tried to sweep out. Good blocks. Gets the full, uh, full punish as well. First time we're actually probably seeing someone punish that all evening. And now you can see sets up the hyena instead. Goes for the slightly hard to block. Well, doesn't actually block properly there. Went for the low once again. Now you can see in the corner, Katie getting absolutely uh, destroyed by ending. Meter burn. Down one into the tantrum stance. Goes for the overhead, but can't actually die from the dot. So 0.10 of a percent at the moment. And just tags in with a down one. Good stuff coming out from key, uh, from ending, sorry. Able to deal with that. You can see a change that Sub-Zero received in Injustice compared to, I believe, any other Mortal Kombat game. He now has air clones. But somehow, KD caught pre uh, ending, sorry, caught pressing a button and actually gets caught with the ice ball. Now you can see Meter Burn back three. The ending special of this evening. Sets up the Hyena once again. Goes for it. Meter Burns it. Actually, able to get rid of that uh, ice ball there. Clone comes out once again. The KD sitting on almost uh, a one health by victory here. Back three manages to get through the ice clone. Doesn't actually have a hitbox on it. And as a result, actually forces the clash out of KD. Pro spent two bars here. Yeah, so KD only gets 15% of his health back. So now you can see just walking his way through. Jump over. Goes for the gunshots. Jump in. Pressure coming out. Down one into the tantrum stance now. Good stuff. Full confirm. Yes, he does. Oh, tried to go for a little bit extra damage there, but just dropped it a little bit. Went for the overhead. Keeps himself in the air. No anti -air. Jump into sweep, and you can see now. Gets caught with the ice climb, but was already committed to the, to the sweep from Sub-Zero. Good air tech, though, but just with the slide, able to take the first life bar of ending, but with 40 health, I don't think he's going to be making this comeback. 
just like that, able to jump straight onto the hyena, and that is going to be the first game Harley going Quinn to wins. KD. Now, after this one as well, I will be joined by Walls Mater on commentary to do losers finals. Uh, but yeah, so back into it. Would wouldn't be surprised. Uh, would be surprised if he switched off Sub Zero, even if he Harley feels more confident Quinn. with another character. He's, he's obviously the fan favorite at the moment uh, because he is picking Sub Zero. Is currently hovering Green Lantern, or in this case, Black Lantern. Uh, but yeah, goes back to Sub Zero. I, I'm, I'm a fan, massive fan of his Sub Zero as well. Awesome looking character. Kind of wish he was a little bit better. Um, he just needs maybe he just needs his MK back two again, or just so even if it's not that quickly, just needs some kind of overhead threat. Even if you got the MK back two, but could only get like a slide after it or something like that, unless you're in the corner, just gives him something. Um, Begin. but here we go. I think with that Harley Quinn, showing as well how good of a Harley Quinn he is. Somehow didn't get the hit there. Good slide comes out from KD, however. Jumps over. Good. And I like that decision. Used the gunshot. Wasn't sure if he was going to land on the ice ball or not. So just decided to spend uh, just to shoot as well. Builds him a little bit of bar as well. Just, you know, overhead pressure. And that's something that I think why Harley Quinn's really good at anti-zoning. Just because she can jump over a lot of zoning as well and then just shoot. Plus as well, her gunshots are just so fast. Tried to go for a jump in there, but actually just clips at the end of her leg with the fireball. And gets woken up with the tantrum stance. Full confirm. Yes, goes for the tantrum stance set up that time. Not totally sure what that follow-up is. That one's a little bit different from Injustice 1, the only time I've actually played Harley. Gets to confirm, but drops the ender. Sadly, now you can see Meter Burn back three. Once again, jump in, keeps himself. Spends the bar on the command grab now. Ice ball comes out. Throws the clone once again, jump in. Ooh, bit of a challenge there from KD. Luckily enough, ending didn't commit into a string off that jump. It goes to the command grab as well. Activates, uh, goes for the un unblockables, and once again jumps over. There's really, I like that decision from uh, from ending there, just because that way he knows that KD doesn't have the opportunity to use those interactables himself. But now we can see it is back to neutral. Down two comes out from Harley Quinn. Tried to jump over once again, did jump over, but didn't get a punish. Need a bit ice clone, ice ball. Good block once again. Full conversion as well with the back two. Jump in. Forward two. Once again, just wakes up with that tantrum stance. Full confirm as well. Good corner conversion. Went for a setup that time. Goes for a back throw. Good decision. The cold does not and that's going to be enough to take the life bar as well. Let's see. Oh, tried to go for a bit of a gunshot there, but somehow manages to um to not get it. And you can see force of the clash now. I think with Harley as well, she gets so much damage off of needless. Anyway, she can afford to keep the bar and then you can either use it for more projectiles or, you know, we, we've been seeing uh, ending a lot, meter burning the command grab at the end and it's a really good decision because it adds dot and keeps him super plus as well. And you can see, tried to jump over once again with the forward three from end, uh, from KD that time, actually able to, to confirm 370 damage off a raw forward three. Both of the meter burning, you can see now, actually gets the confirm, drops the end of the combo though, wake up tantrum stance once again, full confirm in the corner, no drops the end of backdash, but however, not a good decision, you can see ending takes the game. Number two, you can see 2 0 towards ending now. KD needs to make an adjustment or maybe switch off the character. I hope he stays sub zero though. A good clutch from, from uh, ending in that round, however. Was Meta sitting in chat watching at the moment and Swamp Thing? Batman. No, what? No, they can't switch characters. KD. Harley Quinn. What? He can't switch. Oh, sorry, KD can. My bad. My bad. I thought KD lost. Uh, I thought KD won. So KD switching to Batman, um, which would be interesting. Obviously, sadly, it's not Sub Zero, but Batman, infinitely better character um, than Sub Zero. Begin. So definitely going to be interesting. To see now, get some mechanical bounce. Was a little bit too far to get the full jump in now. The one comes out into a neutral jump from ending. See, catches him once again. Full confirm. No, it drops the ender sadly. Maybe that's a setup. It looked like it was a setup because he went for an immediate forward dash. Mechanical bat jump in. Not sure why he's pressuring with that meter and forward three though. Good stuff on the counter hit. Doesn't actually get the max damage combo there. Spans out the mechanical back once again. Meter burn forward three. Back two three. Comes out this time. Good blocks from ending though. And good, good push block. Now we can see in the corner. Will confirm. Doesn't spend the bar this time. Jump over. Almost got it as well. However, did go for the un the interactable. So good trade on his behalf. Now you can see Batman. Full confirm. 
Besides it's better. Is he gonna go for the mix-up? Yes, he does. Doesn't block as well. That mix-up is so dirty. Just catches him with a back 2-3 after the air tech. I do play Batman myself. Uh, and yeah, just that, that mix-up is so ridiculous off of the grapple hook. Down two. Oh, good air escape actually. Not really sure how he got that out there. Actually manages to jump over the hyena as well in the corner now. Side switch on accident. Dash forward into a batarang. Meter burn back three. Once again, mechanical bat jump in. Good stuff closing that out. Went for a grab there. Jumps over once again. Good slide. Second bar being sent. Now mechanical bat. I love how he's whiffing the up one just randomly. I'm not sure if it's an input error. Or maybe it just looks stylish. Maybe it's a setup. I don't know. But you can see now. Jumps in. Gets the air to wear and that should be enough. Good ending. Big life deficit. But it's still doable. However, Batman, just such a monster at pressure. You can see good stuff. Gets the full juggle off of the Amida Band there as well. Hyena comes out, tying it up slowly. Jumps in. Good blocks on the low. Pressure down two once again. Catches him, maybe trying to jump. Hyena set up once again. Jumps in. Mechanical bat. Good delayed wake up though to beat out. Oh, down two hits multiple times as a result. Beat out the Amida Band. However, Katie still with uh, a lot more health. Uh, sorry, a lot more bar than ending at this point. Ooh, I like that decision. Decides to meet a burn, so he doesn't actually goes over. A tantrum stance forces a clash. And I don't actually agree with that because I don't think he would have got the full combo off it because he was airborne already. Two bars being spent. We'll jump in. Tantrum, not blocking low on the tantrum stance. Full jump combo. Ooh, manager's not sure what happened there. Tantrum stance in the low. I love that decision. Mechanical back comes out. Went for a throw and I just like that. Walking back was ending. Knows the tech slide though. Jumps over. Can't get the confirm though. Lim's a little bit too stubby. Goes for the uh, sparkles there. Second bar. Then this is not what that wants to be. Sends the hyena out once again. Second hyena. Meet him battering. However, KD. Wow. Loses all his health. Ending just managing to clutch that one out. And ending is going to progress on a quick 3-0. KD played incredibly well with sub-zero. But ending just able to clutch that one out there. So... Everyone, please leave the King of the Hill. I will reinvite. We're going to take a quick little two-minute break. Wozman is going to jump into Discord and help me with this one. And we'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen.